Good everybody, it's the boy KD coming at you again with another video. I gotta apologize. I know way before Thanksgiving I said that I was gonna get some content out and I didn't. But I'm here now. It's a new year. Let's try to do things on a good foot for the year. I want to try to get more content in terms of uh, stuff for me. I can't speak about the other fellas that are going to be on the channel, but definitely me. I'm going to try to get some more content out for you that I think uh, the audience would like. So, uh, you know, let's get straight into what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, today, I wanted to start the series of Why To. It's going to basically cover why to do certain things. Uh, in my case, it's going to be about anime, video games, stuff of that nature. This one is going to be a generalized video. Tell you why you should get into watching anime in the first place. There's a lot of people out there that think anime is solely just for kids and won't even give it a try because they say they can't connect to it. But I have to say that I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I'm going to say that just give it a try. Like, maybe you didn't watch the right anime, because that's possible. The most popular anime is Dragon Ball Z. So if you sat and you watched Dragon Ball Z and you said, no, nah, I can't do this. Or even Naruto, no, nah, I can't do this. Those two animes, they both follow the similar path, telling a similar story, if you will, or format of story. Where there's other genres of anime that might suit you a little bit better. You have detective animes, you have drama animes, you have comedy, you have romance. If you're feeling a little risky, you got etchy and, and, and hentai. There's a plethora of anime out there that you can watch. I know a lot of people got the concept that anime is solely just for kids, but that's not true. Anime, the word itself, is not shortened for animation. It's actually what they call cartoons over in Japan. So even if you watch Bugs Bunny, SpongeBob, The Amazing World of Gumball, you've watched anime. And if you enjoy those, well, you enjoyed anime. But the anime that I'm speaking of is the more colorful, fluid motion that we all tend to enjoy in the community that watches anime. A lot of people will say that it, it, it doesn't touch reality. You're wrong. Anime does such as reality. And that's one of the big things that has a lot of people into anime. Now, true, some of the concepts, like, again, I'm say Dragon Ball Z, no, you don't have people around here flying through the sky, shooting energy beams and powering up and destroying half the planet. But what you do have is people having to overcome different obstacles on a regular basis, in all honesty. And Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of the Z fighters, those are people that we can relate to in terms of getting over things. Like Goku, his fear is of getting shots. Hey, there's a lot of people out there that don't like needles. So, you know, if you can say, you know, yeah, I'm kind of similar to Goku because, you know, I can do all this other amazing stuff, but needles, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of needles. I'm afraid of getting shots. That's something that you can relate to in saying that, hey, you know, this character is more relatable. Vegeta, he's afraid of worms. Come on now. There's a lot of people out here that are afraid of bugs. I'm one of them. Not all bugs, not not like worms and stuff of that nature. More like, you know, flying dangerous insects, you know, like wasps and bees and stuff of that nature. And it's not really a fear, just I don't want to get stoned. I had very bad experience in my childhood with, with getting stoned three times in one day by three different variants of flying dangerous stingy insects. But that's neither here nor there. <coughs> Excuse me. But the point is... Anime can be relatable. It just depends on what you're watching and what character you're into. And that's another thing. A lot of people have favorite characters. Now, true, typically in anime, uh, you know, your favorite character tend to die. But that's neither here nor there. It, it's still 
you know, you get to enjoy watching your favorite character do the things that you enjoy watching them do, whatever it is. Whether it's that they relate to you, whether it's that you think that they're badass, or whether it's the simple fact that they're cute, you know, hey, to each their own. But I just got to let you know that, like I said, anime isn't just for one certain type of person. Because since the popularity of anime has grown over the years, you have some of everybody watching anime. You got football players watching anime. You got boxers. You got UFC fighters. You got government officials. I mean, hey, anime is actually good if you just give it a chance and find the right one that's for you. Think about it like this. When you're going to watch a movie in the movie theater, are you going to watch it just because it's new? Or are you going to watch it because it's something that you're interested in? See, a lot of people, they'll do it just because it's new and I want to go out, so I'll go see the movie. But then you got those, like myself, that I'm only going to go to the movie theater if the movie is something that I'm interested in. If it's not, then why the hell am I even there? Uh, I don't want to spend my money on it. And anime is the same way. Now, in terms of spending money, unless you just really, really, really want to, you know, support the the creators and the publishers and all this stuff there, in which, don't get me wrong, I'm all for supporting them. I really am. But there's loads of ways to get anime for free. Plenty of websites. Then you have Netflix, Hulu, in which that's a way of supporting them because they go and they get contracts with these people so they can air these shows for us. And matter of fact, not only that, but Netflix actually have original animes that, you know, on their own platform that they do. And they're actually pretty good. So I know if you sit and you watch Netflix, you can actually sit and watch an anime. Especially one of theirs. I just got done watching one last night. Uh, Ashen. That's what, it, that's what it was. Now, yeah, it reminded me a lot of Tokyo Ghoul, but, you know, it also had its interesting aspects to it that, you know, separated it from Tokyo Ghoul. And I enjoyed it. I actually watched the whole entire anime yesterday. Seriously. Like, after I got done watching my Ravens get their butt kicked by the Chargers, I started watching. And I enjoyed it. I got me a couple of beers, sipping, and I, I enjoyed a good anime. I was done by midnight by the time I got done watching it. So, yeah, you know, there are plenty of ways for you to be able to watch anime. And like I said, it's just all about what you're into. And Ashen, yeah, I guess you could kind of say it was action, but, you know, it had drama, it had suspense, you know, so just give it a try, you know, not necessarily Ashen. I mean, yeah, give Ashen a try because it's actually a good show, but give anime a try. Like, don't just say that, you know, I, I would never be able to get into it because it's not real. That is the furthest thing from the truth that I've ever heard. Like I say, it's just about the anime that you have in mind because most people only think of Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. That's it. You know, those people that haven't watched anime, they definitely heard about those two. And they might have heard about a few others. But I guarantee you, those are the ones that they're thinking about, they're thinking, like, I don't want to watch people beat up on each other and shoot memes. That ain't realistic. Well, then, how about watch Psychopath? Psychopath is something that's way more realistic based. And what I mean by realistic based, you know, yeah, it has this, you know, out there concept. But the out there concept is the fact that it takes place into the future. So you can actually say, okay, you know, I can kind of get behind that because, you know, I can actually see this playing out in the future. In all honesty, you really can't. If you go watch Psychopath, you know, and you get into it, you be like, you know what, I can actually see things working out this way in the future, especially the way things are going in the world now. So, yeah, you know, uh, another show that you might be into that, you know, is more uh, touched based upon reality is... Uh, Detective Conan. Now, yeah, hold on. Now, he has out the concept that he got turned into a little kid. But everything else pretty much follows the guidelines of, you know, human nature. You know, they ain't out here flying or none of that stuff. You know, he just a teenage boy that got turned into a child again. And he going around and he's solving crimes. You know, I mean, hey, 
I know a lot of people that watch CSI. You know, you'll get a kick out of this. And, you know, it, it has this comedy aspect to it as well. So, you know, got good humor to it. My thing is this. Me, myself, I got into anime a while ago. Back when I was a kid. And what it did for me was it made me see that there was something different that I could be doing with myself. Because as I started watching anime, of course, you got to know the first anime that I watched was Dragon Ball Z. Well, actually, it was Dragon Ball, but Dragon Ball Z is what I got into. Um, yeah, that's what everybody was into. So, you know, it was a little bit more relatable in terms of when I wanted to watch it, but I wanted to watch other anime because I, I definitely wanted to know what was going on with Dragon Ball Z because everybody was like, oh, well, this is going on because, you know, we're behind, yada, yada, yada. So I would, you know, turn on my old computer, the one, you know, AOL and all that stuff there where you got to, you know, use dial tone and all that stuff there and somebody pick up the phone, oh, there go the internet connection, so now you, yeah, I had to load that up and try to find stuff. And lo and behold, I did. I, I found tons of anime that I was like, wow. I did not realize that, you know, it was this much. And I mean, yeah, had I thought about it, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are more animated shows over in Japan other than just this one. But, you know, being younger, you know, you're not really thinking about that kind of thing. You're more so thinking about, hey, you know, you want to find out what's going on with this. But I found those animes and, you know, I, I started watching them. Uh, Tenshi Universe. That was one of the first animes that I started watching. And true, that came on Toonami as well with Dragon Ball Z in the afternoon. But I got to watch the other Tenchis before they even... Uh, so it was Tenchi Muyo, then Tenchi Universe, and there's one more. But I got to watch the other two before, you know, they started airing on Toonami. And so, you know, I got I got to, you know, enjoy that really well. Uh, another show that I got into... Um, was One Piece, because One Piece was actually around uh, back when I was a teenager, you know, watching anime for the first time. Uh, it just wasn't really being shown over here in America, because when it did get aired over here in America, thanks to the Four Kids dub, it got it. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, so, but what it did for me, like I said, is it made me realize that I don't want to be out running in the streets and getting into all this trouble when I could be at home watching this. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I still went out and did things and stuff of that nature. But it, you know, it made me not do as much of the stuff that I was doing to get in trouble. Because the path that I was going on, I, I would have probably been in jail or something of that nature. So I have to thank anime for actually making me want to sit back and you know, actually be at home and not be interested in doing something that, you know, I knew I ain't had no business doing, but, you know, hey, I'm bored. Why not go do it? So, you know, that's what it did for me. And I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, you can get the same thing out of it that I did. But anime is a great way to relieve stress and reconnect. I'm mean, not reconnect, but disconnect from reality for a little bit. Because sometimes the day-to-day -day life is just a little bit too hard for us. And when I mean just a little bit too hard, I don't mean, you know, going off, you know, offing yourself or nothing of that nature. No. I mean the simple fact that, hey, man, my boss chewed me out today at work and it's just been horrible. I need to, you know, unwind. Now, don't get me wrong. Most of us adults, we're probably going to unwind with some kind of alcoholic beverage. Me personally, there's going to be some beers, Jack Daniel, you know, the good stuff. But I also need something to do while I'm, you know, drinking those things. Now, I got video games as well. But, come on now. Anybody that plays video games know that sometimes you just don't want to play a game. Sometimes you just want to kick back and relax and just look at the screen. Well, anime is one of the things that you can watch. Because, again, there are plenty out there for you to watch. You know, you just got to find the ones that are right for you. You want to watch something funny, watch Gentleman. 
If you want to watch an adventure, watch One Piece. If you want to watch action, watch Cash and Sin. There's plenty out there for you to watch. Heck, Pokemon. Anime. They come from Japan. And if you ever watch Pokemon and you enjoyed it, the anime. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. True, it doesn't come from Japan, but it is an anime. <laughs> Even outside the facts of what I said in the beginning of the video about what anime means, it's considered an anime among the community because it is so good. It does such a good job of touching on realistic things as well as the, you know, out of this world concepts that, you know, being able to do all this unnatural stuff. As well as, again, relatable characters and great storytelling. And that's another thing. Any other good anime, they have the ability to tell a great story. Now, not all animes will tell a great story, but there are loads that do. That's the reason why people like a lot of these shows, because they're able to tell a good story. Now, you're not going to run into a perfect story, no. Everything has its, you know, plot holes and devices to, you know, help the protagonist or whatever the case may be move along. But for the most part, they do a good job of telling the story and connecting the world. And that's all we really want. We just want a great story to tell us. And think about it. How many times have you sat down to watch a show on Netflix and it only had like one, two seasons? Well, anime got the same thing. But the only difference is it does a better job of connecting the world itself in the show because it has the ability to do things that real people just can't. Like, you can use all the CGI you want in the world, but, you know, it's just some things that won't be able to get across just because of some fact that these are real people and they can't do these things. And when I say these things, like I said, I'm not talking about the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about the things in terms of emotion. You know, this actor may not be able to hit the right facial expression at the right moment or break down correctly you know, so you can actually see what they're feeling. Anime can do that. There are plenty of anime out there that I've cried to. I'm not going to lie to you. Cried like a baby. Just because the message got over so well. Or, you know, I was connected to that character. You know, being invested in the character. That's, that's something that we do anyway with real shows. Prime example. I like uh, Law and Order and Olivia. Even though Olivia kind of gets on my nerves every so often, I'm still invested in her because her character, she has character development throughout the years of the show. But notice, it's throughout the years of the show. In anime, yeah, you got the same thing, but it's within the first season, maybe even second season, that you're going to get this development. The development is going to start from the beginning. Because something is going to happen. They're going to be faced with a situation. It's not going to be years later down the line when, oh, well, this this is revealed about you. Now you have to do this. Because, you know, we're losing, we, we're losing the audience. No, with anime, we're telling the story of this person's development. Because anytime you watch a show, you want to be invested in this person. You want to feel like you know this person. And that is what makes anime so great. You're not just watching somebody, you know, go out and arrest a few people. You're actually watching this person go through development of their own character while in the process of still stopping the bad guy. You get no better than that. But you can find that out for yourself. Like I said, you can go watch anime on the internet. You can use Hulu. You can use Netflix. There are loads of ways that you can go watch anime. And I can sit here all day and, you know, 
hold up, pick a sign saying, you should watch anime. You know, but it's up to you. You got to sit down and say to yourself that I want to actually give it a try. And like I said, Google is your best friend. If you're into a certain type of thing, I guarantee you, just search it. Just search the anime for it. Oh, I'm into romance. Well, anime is about romance. I'm into dramas. Anime is about drama. Like I said, it, it's all about what you want to do. You know, I could, I can list every genre that is for you, and I would be here for another hour listing off because there's so many categories and subcategories and sub subcategories and crossovers, and things of that nature. But I'm gonna leave it up to you. Just give it a try. Trust me, it won't hurt you. But that's going to be it for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. This is Boy KD. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. So that way you can get notifications on when I drop the next video. And hopefully it'll be a lot sooner than the last one was. But till the next time, keep pimping. I'll see you later. Peace.